Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But... Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. And we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him, and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be... Sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Be 
being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? All right then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Yeah, I I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I, uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Hey, Chloe. Hey, how's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one, so I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you. But I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was... stabbed in the arm. By... Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No. Not at all. If, if anything, I... I should have thought about what happened with you guys before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead... I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? 
Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Tell Rachel she's gotta come to board game night. Soon. Hey. Can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Something nerdy. But not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit, too? It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So, yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You gotta save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the Traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, shit. I, I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Uh, <laughs> greetings, powerful Elamon. From whence do you run? Uh, uh, float. Or whatever. Funny you should ask. I'm being chased by an army of dragonkin. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you told that dragonkin that you'd skin him, make a handbag from his flesh, and then carry him around in it? Yeah. That was really a team effort. Well, you did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on everything. Suddenly, Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I 
do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Hmm. <laughs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Can I... you know... feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Ugh. Thirteen? Despite the desolate look of the caves, your elvish senses tell you that something does, in fact, live inside. Something unfriendly. That's some solid intel. Next, you turn to the forest. Though it seems still, you sense that what's inside is not entirely at rest. Okay, come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. <laughs> oh yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. <laughs> 20. You find a log on the ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Sweat pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using the idol, Elamon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Yes, finally! Suddenly, a bony hand shoots up from the ground in front of you. Then, the undead soldier it belongs to sits up from his grave, sending dirt and pebbles flying. <laughs> Your excited shouts have woken him from his slumber. Balls. Then, the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Totally worth it. Run. Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. As you near the edge of the forest, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps. Out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgaron. Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? I'ma kick your ass. This is awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Uh, you shall not pass. 
I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. You got this, Drew. I mean, Durgaron. Weak, foolish creatures. You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet reprieve. <laughs> Word. I wrote that for him. <laughs> Shut up. Now remember, Durgaron is still wearing his Bracer of Fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elamon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. I feel like Rage Slam might be good. <laughs> Bring it. Channeling your immense fury, you try to lift Durgaron into the air for a body slam. Badass style. Twelve. Uh, sixteen? Durgaron's stronger than you think. He reverses your grip and lifts you up, throwing you through the air easily. Ha! Bullshit. You land in an embarrassingly awkward way. Take five damage. I take it all back. This game is... Dumb. I kick her while she's down. <sighs> Make that 16 damage. Back to you. So this says I have some special kind of magical frost sword that does some like, ice slice thing. I'm doing that. Here we go. A 20? Shit. That's good, right? Durgaron, roll to reduce damage. You pull out your magically frozen blade and then unleash the ice slice to end all other ice slices. Ice slice. Durgaron takes 21 damage, but is still standing strong. I swing my giant ass sword at your head. The elf just manages to duck under your blade, avoiding damage, but getting a pretty nasty haircut. You'll pay for that. I call upon Elamon. Help an elf out. Hmm. I know. I cast Clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgaron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. You see a small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgaron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed currents. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? Not that you can prove. I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the ribcage dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. Skull bomb. Yes. Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgaron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Finally! Whew, man. Finally? That was like two seconds. I barely got to play. Nicely done, Alamon. Uh, if Durgaron's dead, I grab his bracer. Oh, yeah. The, the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon, all you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. 
and you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! Searing Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Elamon, you beat the shit out of Durgaron and took his bracelet. Bracer. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? So you've never used this spell before. You've also never died. It's gonna be a first time either way. You're the only friend who's ever helped me. I, I can't leave you behind. People must be lining up to adventure with the great Elamon. You could replace me in no time. I won't just kill you. You're the only one I want to fight beside. Think of all the distressed villagers out there who need you. If you kill yourself, you're also killing them. But I, I can save everyone. I know I can. Somehow. Elamon, dude. If you can't save everyone, you should at least save someone. Save yourself. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Elamon secures the Bracer of Fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the Elf Barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe. For everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? I turn to Elamon and say, thank you, before the flames burn me away forever. Elamon rolls not to cry. I rolled a three. The spell comes to a spectacular climax, until all you can see is white. Then, all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead, and the game's over? Yep, and Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well, 
What if I make a new character? Wait, really? You want to keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. I... Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I don't know about that. You saved her, didn't you? When everything happened, I just... I froze up. That you were there for her when she needed you. That's what matters. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well... Hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. My daughter has two broken ribs. Nathan was clearly defending himself against her unwanted and inappropriate physical contact. Continuing to involve my son will have extremely unpleasant ramifications for you. What could possibly be more unpleasant than what we've already gone through? <sighs> Holy shit. I would advise you to moderate your tone. Moderate my tone? Are, are these we'll see how you Samantha feel Myers you ribs? Threat. Holy fuck. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. 
You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. Just don't do that again. Play the damsel in distress? <laughs> you got it. No. Attack a psycho with a two by four. That was crazy. News flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> crazy hot. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But. It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your your dad's office? Zero seven two two. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... 
everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. I, I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? Uh, how have you been? Like, uh, since last night? Holy shit. The Tempest was just yesterday? Yes? Uh, so much has been happening lately. I, I actually brought Rachel here just a while ago, but it feels like forever. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah, it was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean... You're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Oh. Hey, I, uh, I almost forgot. Did you, like, write on my whiteboard? <laughs> I totally did, didn't I? Yeah. I was, uh... Pretty sure that was your handwriting. What did I write? You wrote me a poem? Emotional, loyal, etc. Ended with, uh, talented? Oh. Well, uh, you are pretty talented, man. <sighs> Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> See you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe.
Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. <laughs> it's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? James sure keeps lots of files on people. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Welcome to Shadyville. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah.
James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? I say. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Better not touch that again. Him. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Okay, 
There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? I can't really talk about it. Rachel... Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe... What is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? 
Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad the for- The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look. I I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're the one who's keeping me here. At the Arcadia Bay DA James Amber's house. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? 
that's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure mom would never fall in love with someone like David too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I wish you'd told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. No way. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real.
Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Don't tell me what to do. Glad to see the bone made. No! Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- <clears throat> No! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the- Fuck. You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! <laughs> No! <sighs> Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices. 
or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... Sarah? Chloe Price. Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. I, I think you need help. Let me, let me call someone or something. I need you to listen. What James did Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel can never know. <sighs> That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Our accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. 
No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I... I, I don't know anything about addiction. But I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> He doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. Uh, 
I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Hey. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah, me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Because, why should she be any different from the rest of us? <laughs>